Hello YouTube friends, Seth here with Throttle Addiction. We're going to tackle another wiring project. Uh, previously, uh, we have wired up our Deluxe Evolution Sportster hardtail kit. I uh, got a lot of questions on doing kind of the same process on Evolution Big Twin. So we built up a little harness that you'll be able to pick up on throttleaddiction.com. We're going to kind of do the same thing step by step, walking through uh, every wire, every connection, how it all goes together, what it does, trying to help you guys out and make life easier. Here is what we are throwing on. Uh, our SKU 4081, if you're interested, probably be a link up, down, somewhere. Uh, main harness assembly. Uh, circuit breaker wire comes with a 30 amp circuit breaker, ignition switch, and then our auxiliary wires for uh, taillights, headlights, things of that nature. Really intended for Evolution Big Twin. Uh, we'll jump over here and show you kind of the ignition location as well as the coil location that you'll need to be running in order to utilize this kit. A few assumptions with this wiring kit here. Stock stator assembly, stock regulator and its stock location, nothing crazy there. Um, we are gonna run our ignition switch right here off the motor mount. There's a couple different motor mounts you can buy to do that. Uh, so that's gotta be there. Our coil is gonna be mounted uh, right off there on the coil mount. So the assumptions we've made with this wiring harness is those components are going to be in those locations. That's kind of what all our lengths are um, built around. The other thing we got on this is an Ultima ignition. We sell those on Throttle Addiction, pretty big fan of those. We run those on Sportster hardtail kits. Uh, this one already has one on there. Not gonna show you necessarily how to wire that up. but we will show you how to hook the wires to the coil where everything goes. We're not just gonna show you how to pull the old one out and run that. We got all our components laid out here. We're just gonna kind of run through quickly and show you what we're connecting to where and why we're doing it. So first thing we have is our battery uh, and our starter. So these are OEM components. We got our battery cables going to ground and our battery cables going to our starter. That's already on there, nothing to worry about there. On this bike, we are not running a start button or a start uh, ignition switch. It's got the push lever on the starter. Uh, we will show you that here in the moment, but there's no extra wires ran to that. So uh, starter, everything there is good to go. So the first thing we got here is our 30 amp circuit breaker. So we are going to run a power wire from our 30 amp circuit breaker to our battery. That wire is going to be our red loose wire. Second wire, we are gonna run from our 30 amp circuit breaker. This is gonna be our power out down to the battery terminal on our ignition switch. This is going to be the red wire in our main harness. So off of our ignition terminal of our ignition switch, out of the main harness, there's the white wire is gonna to connect to our ignition terminal, and then going to run to the center post on our coil, which is our positive. Uh, that's the white wire. Anytime our ignition switch is in the ignition or the run position, that's powering up our coil. There are two other wires going to our ignition switch off of the auxiliary terminal. So this terminal is going to be powered up both in the ignition, uh, the ignition position. So when the bike's running, this is gonna have power as well as if we put it in auxiliary, that way we can turn our lights on without having the ignition on. So the black wire in, out of our main harness is going to run down to our brake light switch. And then the second wire we're gonna run off of that auxiliary terminal is our black and white wire, which runs up and feeds power to our headlight. Next, we're going to jump over to this brake light switch and teeing 
off of our black wire connecting into our switch is our black and blue wire. Those are already connected together there to make it easy. Uh, that bad boy is going to run back to our tail light. So that's going to be our constant on with our tail light. So anytime we're running down the road, our tail light's on. Then out of the other end of the brake light switch, one thing to note here, it does not matter which connector hooks up to which side of the brake light switch. They are uh, synonymous, it does not matter. So this is gonna be our black and red wire, and that is going to run back to our stop brake light. So anytime our brake light is pressed, the switch is gonna close, running power back to our stop light. So these, the regulator and the stator, are just OEM components. There is your long power wire, which is going to run all the way back to our 30 amp circuit breaker. Lastly, not all regulators have this. Some of them are internally grounded. This one I'll show you when we get over to the bike, but it's got a short little ground wire. We're just going to ground that to the frame via our regulator mount bolt. The last piece of this puzzle is our ignition. Our ignition has five wires coming out of it. Uh, again, this is an Ultima aftermarket ignition. We sell these on the website. You can run them on, on uh, Big Twins. You can run them on Sportsters. They're very intuitive, relatively easy to install. I uh, highly recommend them. Um, our green wire, we're not going to be using. That goes to our tack. Our violet wire is going to our Vos. We are not gonna be using that. So our white wire coming out of our Ultima is gonna go down and connect to that center positive. Our blue wire is going to be the negative for our front cylinder. And the pink wire is going to be the negative for our rear cylinder. So that, in a nutshell, is what we're going to be doing. Now we'll jump over to the bike and take it one bite at a time. Uh, only, I guess, other thing to mention is our headlight grounds and taillight grounds. Uh, we're probably just going to be grounding those out to frame just to save ourselves a few wires running all the way back to the battery. First thing, we got our battery unhooked. That way as we're hooking everything up, getting her going, we're not uh, doing a little little 12 volt uh, welding there. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. All right, so we got all our components on, headlights, taillights, stators, regulators, our ignitions in, our coils on. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and lay out all our wires, kind of roughly where we got them, uh, where we're wanting them to be, and then we'll, um, get them all hooked up. So first thing is our main harness here. Um, again, red is our power to our ignition switch. White is from our ignition switch to our coil. The black wire runs all the way down and is gonna hook to our brake light switch, be the power in, and then the blue and black coming off that's gonna run back to our tail light. Tuck down here and then we're gonna hook all this up to our ignition switch. We're just gonna get everything kind of laid out here for now. So our circuit breaker, uh, we got it mounted right, the, these come with a little clip-on holder. Um, we have it mounted right under there, so our power wire is going to hook right under there. For the time being, we're just gonna lay all this out. So this guy in here is our white wire. That is going to go to the center post on our ignition coil. Loop this guy through here, trying to make it pretty. And we're gonna put that over that post. This black with our black and blue, we need to feed down and we're going to the other side of the bike here. We're just going to drop it right down the backbone. So we got those coming, coming out the bottom there. 
Uh, one thing super important, we never want to run these wires across the frame, either the cross rail or your side tube of your frame. Uh, we want to keep everything tied up uh, above that. That way if we uh, going up on a lift or hitting some concrete or whatever the case may be, we're not going to cut all these wires. Run this right up here. So up here, we're running uh, forward controls, obviously. Uh, just some aftermarket ones, throttleaddiction.com. We have replaced our uh, banjo bolt with these sweet little brake light switches. So no need for an inline brake light switch. It just plugs in right where your banjo bolt plugs in. Uh, come in 3 8 7 16 and one more time, uh, you can see both the wires, same color. It does not matter which one of these is in and which one is out. They are synonymous. We got our power coming from our ignition for our tail light or our brake light. And we are going to grab these pliers that I preemptively got. make our second connection. So we're gonna come back later once we get our other wire hooked in here and we'll um, wrap all these up so we don't get any ch -ch 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 cross connection. But for now, that is that. So set that aside for now. Grab our black and red wire, which has that same spade terminal for it. This bad boy is going to connect to the other end of our switch. So now we have our power going in, which is the black, our tail light wire, which is our black blue, and our brake light wire. When the brake lever is pushed, it's gonna open that switch, close that switch, send power out here, which is gonna turn on our brake light switch. We are just going to grab these two guys said it before, but uh, we just want to make sure we're not going under this crossbar right here with these. We're going to go up and over that, keeping them out of harm's way. So these wires we just leave super long. That way you guys, depending on what you're doing with them, if you're running an axle tail light, running something on your sissy bar, on the fender, no matter what, uh, you got some real estate here to get these ran up to where you want. We're just gonna run these up to this Lucas tail light. So we will just hang them right there for now. So we got our main wiring harness poking through here. Uh, three connections off that. So we are going to take that as well as our headlight wire and wire up our ignition switch. So again, this is just kind of left long, cloth covered, a little more attractive. Um, that way, no matter what you got, where you're running, how you're going, uh, should be able to, to get you there. First off is our battery in for our switch. So depending on what switch you got, but uh, this one here um, that comes with the kit, there's an SD indicator and the battery is the first counterclockwise to that mark. The next clockwise of our battery, clockwise of that SD indicator is our white wire, which is our ignition wire going to our coil. Battery plus, ignition. The last is our auxiliary, which is on in the auxiliary position as well as the run position. This is gonna to go to our lights, uh, headlight, as well as our tail light and brake light power switch. That's all the wires going to that. We're going to or a little cover on there, making sure it's clocked correctly. 
Now we have our accessory, which is headlights on, taillights on, off position, key comes out, and our ignition uh, position, which turns our white wire to our coil on, as well as our lights. Here we have our regulator rectifier, uh, just a stock regulator rectifier. We have one long wire coming out of it, our two wires with a built-in connection, and one short little wee wire. Uh, first off, we're gonna hook this guy up way over here. Okay. So this is where our stator, uh, which creates our um, current, this is the two wires that come out of our stator. This is the plug for that. So we're gonna wrap that regulator up, that wire up there and plug her in right there. Push her in nice and tight. Make sure you got a good connection. And uh, with that, our stator is now hooked to our regulator. Our short little wire here, uh, not all regulators are gonna have this depending on the manufacturer. Uh, some of them, this is our ground wire. Some of them are internally grounded. Uh, so there's no wire to worry about. What we're going to do is cut this off a little shorter, throw an eyelid on it, and we're just going to ground it to our regulator mounting bolt. Uh, that way we have a good positive ground without running uh, ground all the way back to our battery. So we're just going to cut it off, throw an eyelid on it, ground it right there. You can also ground it to your uh, motor mount bolt, wherever, wherever you really see fit, where you think you're going to get a, a good Good ground. Now we're going to jump to the other side and run our regulator power wire. So we're gonna run this guy all the way up uh, to our circuit breaker we got mounted up here. Um, the best way, the best path, I guess, is just kind of follow that uh, black wire we ran from the main harness. So we're gonna go under the bike, up the backbone, and poop it out right up there. Now we're going to hook up our circuit breaker, which essentially is our just uh, our fuse for the whole wiring system. Um, so we got this little red wire here from our main harness. So that's going to take um, power from our circuit breaker, run it up to our ignition switch. The other guy we're going to hook up is this black one we just ran. This is from our regulator. So this is putting power back to the to the battery as our charging system is doing its job. A little slack here. So these are gonna go on the silver side of our circuit breaker. The brass side is reserved for going to the battery. Snug that up. Then we have this little jumper wire, which is going to the brass side, nothing else on this side. Tighten that up. Pop that right up in its little circuit breaker holding home. So the other end of our circuit breaker needs to get power. Is going to run over here to our battery. And there we have that. This is the harness coming directly out of our Ultima ignition, um, the aftermarket ignition there. So just a couple things here. Our green wire is for attack. If we're running attack, we're not. So we're just gonna bend that over, not use it. Purple is for your Vos. Uh, we are not running that. We're running without, it's a chopper. The white is going to be to our center positive of our coil. The blue is going to be the negative for our front cylinder, which will be this guy up here. And the pink is going to be the negative for our rear cylinder. Uh, the way it's set up here, if you're doing it just the way this, uh, we're doing it here with the Ultima ignition, this is for single fire setup with a single coil. Um, so that's the way we got it set up. Throw a little heat shrink on there to cover up those wires and keep that 
loom from fraying. All right. So this white wire from earlier is over from our ignition switch, runs through the main harness. That's what, when we turn the ignition switch on, is gonna power up the coil. And we're gonna snake this bad boy up through here. Rear cylinder, pink. Front cylinder, blue. White, white. Snug those up. Bottom one's our rear. The ignition there. Top one is our front, with the exception of hooking up our loose headlight wire and hooking up our taillight brake light wire. We have successfully wired our big twin chopper. The Ultima directions are real good at uh, setting up your, your program for your rev limiter, your VOS switch, uh, your advanced curves, all that stuff. Um, but we'll run you through real quick, um, kind of the way this one's set up and uh, how we got it on our big twin here. So your first switch number one is uh, retarded in the on position and normal in the off position. We're not running VOS, not worried any of that, so we're going to slide that down to the off position. Secondly is our advanced curve. Uh, is controlled by switch 2 and switch 3. So currently we are in curve 1, which is uh, set up pretty well for what we have going for a little factory big twin here, um, off and off. So those are both down in the off position. Third is our RPM limit, uh, rev limiter. Uh, looks like uh, this is currently set from the old previous owner. We got a four and a five both on. So we are set to max at seven grand. Uh, we probably don't need that. We're just gonna bump it down to 5,500. So we're just gonna put both of those to off. Lastly, is uh, if we're running single fire or dual fire ignition. In this instance, uh, with the coil we have, we're running single file, <laughs> single fire. So that is gonna be on, so that one is up. So we're off all across the board. Number six is on, giving us single fire uh, ignition. So there's kind of a quick easy how we've got ours set up. So we mentioned it earlier, we're not gonna have an exciter wire with an external push button start or a key switch start. We just got the, the slam start here, uh, which physically just engages your solenoid. So uh, less wires, keep it simple. So we got our wiring harness um, all installed here, got everything hooked up. Uh, again, that was the big twin uh, chopper wiring harness from throttleaddiction.com. So we are going to kick our, our ignition on here. Got our headlight wired up just straight to the ignition. If you wanted to put a uh, high low beam, you could. We just ran it straight to the ignition. That appears to be working. Our tail light over here also appears to be working. Our brake light, oh, yep, yeah, mm hmm appears to be working. Um, so now we're going to roll it over here and see if we can get her started. There you have it. She's alive, started running. Got a few, uh, maybe some fuel things to, to iron out there, but all in all, pretty, pretty happy. Uh, very happy with the wiring harness, how all that worked, nice and easy. Good to go on that front. If you like this build, you like this bike, uh, look us up on TikTok. Did a bunch of TikTok videos on kind of finishing it up, getting it to this point. So jump on there, check that out. Uh, if you like this bike as well, pretty much everything on this thing um, came from throttleaddiction.com. So for all your chopper needs, parts, pieces, accessories, cool shirts, fuel bottles, handlebars, springers, whatever, jump on over there, pick them up, and 
Jared Wright in the end. And two seconds, I, I had the on-air light on even. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't have an on-air light, that'd be sweet.